Alrighty, so this project here is something I was working on maybe, I reckon a year ago. Um, but basically, what you do in this, um, it's still a work in progress, but what you do is it's kind of like a, a, a clicker game. And so you have this barren planet, and your whole aim is to kind of populate it with greenery and... Uh, eventually I was going to add animals and AI and all that stuff, but never really got around to it and um, just uh, jumped onto a new project. Um, so I'll just show you what there is on uh, on this project currently. So as you can see, the, the skybox or sky sphere uh, is kind of randomly generated. Um, have different colorations of the stars there. Um, there are little areas where there's spots where it doesn't fill, but work in progress. <laughs> so, okay, so basically Divine Blessings is what you get um, uh, to place certain uh, objects. So, for example, rock is 3, grass is 5, tree is 10, water is 15, and so on. Um, however, uh, every time you place something, it'll then get more expensive and more expensive and more expensive. And there are some things that you can't place on uh, on first. So, for example, I can place a rock first or grass first, but I can't place a tree just on the barren planet itself. So, I can place a few rocks here, which gives me more divine blessings. So, the more stuff on the planet, you get more divine blessings um, per second. Um, then I can place uh, some grass here, like that. And then I can now get the tree, and you can see that now that I have some grass, I can place the trees on the grass, like so. And then of course I've got water, and I can place that. Um, eventually I was planning to actually just make the meshes uh, clamp onto uh, each corner so that it's kind of seamless. And I, and I just removed the whole aspect of having these uh, weird square models. Um, but yeah, that's basically all that I ended up getting up to in this game. Um, so as you can see, if I select rock now and I start placing rocks around, it actually gets more expensive as I go on. So the more stuff that you end up putting on the planet, the more challenging it actually is. Um, to play small stuff, uh, but the whole idea for this, the game is called Homeworld Defender, but eventually what will happen is that asteroids and and a whole lot of like natural disasters would disasters start happening and you would need to fix that um, and uh, well defend a planet. Um, and then I was going to eventually add some animals and AI um, that just roam the planet. Um, and you can actually give them different pathing and whatnot, where they should be, or what groups they should follow. Um, however, I never really got around to that and, um, yeah, kind of just started a new project on top of that. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the lighting, um, does change. So there is a full day and night cycle around the planet. Um, so yeah, that's, this basically all I got up to in this project. <clears throat> um... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.